In this video, we are going to discuss continuous time and discrete time signals. So, in the last class, we observed the classification of signals in that the first classification is continuous time and discrete time signals. I already told you continuous time signal, we can define the signal at any interval of time. For discrete time signal, we cannot determine that signal, we cannot determine the amplitude of the signal at uh, particular uh, intervals of time that means uh, at continuous intervals of time we can't determine the signal only at a discrete intervals of time we can define the signal of discrete. So, here you can see the definition and example waveforms of both continuous and discrete time signal. If you go for continuous time signal, a signal which is defined for all values of t, t I considered as time. If a signal which is defined for all values of time is called as continuous time signal. So, here these are the examples related to continuous time signal. If you consider this signal, this is a sine wave. So, here if you consider this signal, so for example, I mentioned only continuous intervals or uh, discrete intervals. So, here for example, if you want the value at 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 by taking the reference line and mapping with this voltage, you can say what is the signal at a particular instant of time. That means, so like this we can, we can uh, say what is the uh, re reference uh, amplitude that a signal is having at uh, all instants of time. So, for example, if you are having signal like this, this is a square wave. So, this square wave for this square wave also, for example, if you want at 2.5. So, at 2.5 you can map this voltage and you can see the reference voltage. So, you can draw a line here and you can see the voltage uh, corresponding to this height of that peak. So, you can say a particular voltage at any instant of time. So, coming to this triangular wave, so here also we can say what is the amplitude at any instant of time. From minus infinity to infinity, if a triangular wave is there, by just drawing a line from x axis to that wave and by taking the reference from this y axis voltage, then we can say what is the corresponding voltage at particular instant of time. In all these waveforms, not only these three, we are having so many continuous waveforms. So, the, just like in the nature, we are having a continuous wave. So, there is no cuts in between the wave uh, from minus infinity to infinity or in a given time period, we can, uh, we can have a continuous wave that is called as continuous signal. So, here we can determine the signal value at any instant of time that is the only point we need to say about continuous time signal. So, coming to discrete time signal, so here we can't say values at some intervals of time that means only at discrete intervals of time we can define the signal if they asked for uh, any decimal points like uh, z at 0 0.1 what is the value of the in this signal if they are asking we cannot say that signal. So, that means so this is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 only at a discrete intervals these signals are defined. So, that is why if they asked any um, uh, not discrete intervals that means for example 0 0.1, 2.5, 6.5 like that if they are asking we cannot determine that signal. So, the signal nature will be like this it is having samples with a, uh, with a different voltage at particular instant of time. For example, uh, the sample at 1 may have 1 volt, sample at 2 have uh, 2 volts and 3 volts like that. So, coming to discrete signals, one important point is for a discrete time signal, time is discrete but amplitude is always continuous. So, please keep in mind for a discrete signals only time is discrete but amplitude is continuous that means you can say amplitude at any time for any sample for example if you considered a digital signal so digital signal is next version of discrete signal so after quanti quantization of uh, discrete signal we are going to get digital signal that digital signal you know that's having only ones and zeros by watching by observing that one ones and zeros you can't say what is the amplitude of that signal instantly. So, that is why for a digital signal both amplitude and time are discrete. We can't say uh, what is the um, uh, time and what is the amplitude. Particular time period we, we can't say amplitude. 
uh, particular uh, amplitude is not there for a digital signal. So, for a digital signal both amplitude and time are discrete. Coming to the equations, for example, I want to consider time period as 2. For example, peak to peak you can uh, consider from here to here or one complete cycle you can consider as time period. If I want to make any definition for this um, waveform, I want to consider a particular time period. I am considering like uh, 2. This is the time period. That means capital T value I am considering like 2. So now if you want to make any waveform equation, we know that this is in the form of sine wave. So, we need to consider the definition of sine wave x of t equal to, uh, why I am writing x of t means as this is continuous, we need to consider the signal in the function of continuous time. So, continuous time always can be represented with t and discrete time always we will represent with, so n. So, here also you need to mention x of n. So, here for example, if you are considering t equal to 2 means, so you need to compare with the equation a sin omega t plus 5. So, you need to substitute the values in this, then you are going to get this wave equation. But you know, you do not know the value of amplitude. For example, say you are having 2 volts here, peak voltage. So, you are having a highest peak as 2. So, amplitude can be noted by this waveform is 2 volts. So, then A value is 2 and T value you know as 2. So, you know the relation between uh, angular frequency omega and this time period. So, always so T is equal to 2 pi by omega naught. By this you can say omega or omega naught you can consider omega naught is equal to 2 pi by t as you know the value of t is equal to 2 you are going to get pi omega is equal to pi say there is no phase shift that means consider phi is equal to 0 say we are not having any phase shift consider phi is equal to 0 so here you can see if the waveform is like this we are not having a phase shift like that i am considering phi is equal to 0 so, here I am substituting everything here. So, now A sin A in A place I am writing just 2 sin. So, omega naught t that means omega naught value is pi. So, sin pi t. 2 sin pi t is the description or wave equation for this particular wave. Like that we can define that wave. The only difference between this and this is we can define only at um, discrete intervals of time. The definition will not vary that means here x of n is equal to for example here also if you are considering 2 here also if you are considering your time period as 2 then you are going to write the equation like x of n is equal to 2 sin pi n. So 2 sin pi n or 2 sin n pi you can write. So this is the wave equation for this wave. So, like this you are going to get the equations also when you are representing continuous time signal you need to represent in terms of t when you are representing your discrete signal you need to represent in terms of discrete time n. Now coming to uh, conversion of continuous time to discrete time how we can convert this continuous time signal into discrete time signal. So, that can be done by sampling process. Sampling process is nothing but multiplication with a pulse train. For example, if you are having this signal, if you want to convert into this signal, so you just you need to multiply with a pulse train. So, here you can see if you multiplied with a pulse train, then you are going to get this. So, you can see. If you multiply with a pulse train of amplitude 1, I am multiplying. So, like this, I am multiplying. So, this is the pulse train with uh, impulse train. This is also called as impulse train, train of impulses. So, I am just considering as amplitude of 1. Why? Because I do not want to change my amplitude from 2. 
so if you want to change your amplitude if you want to amplify then you can change the amplitude of pulse strength then these two will be multiplied with uh, any other value then you will get some bigger amplitude when i considered amplitude of one for pulse strain whatever the amplitude maintained in the continuous wave will follow in the discrete signal so now consider here if this sample is multiplied here it will come here so if this sample is multiplied here it will come here whatever the values we are having in between so here that are going to vanish why because uh, from this sample to this sample so you can notice a value zero in the pulse strain if zero is multiplied here this part of your continuous wave is going to vanish that's why this uh, this wave is going to cut as discrete pulse, uh, discrete sine wave so like this we can convert any continuous time signal into discrete time signal after uh, converting into discrete if you done uh, quantization and encoding then if you done encoding then you are going to get your digital signal how we are getting digital signal from continuous signal means first we need to convert into discrete and then digital that means after converting like this you need to encode the signal according to the step sizes uh, according to the step voltages so that means you need to put a reference voltage as 5 or uh, 6 or 7 like that uh, so in process you you just put a reference voltage according to that reference voltage you are going to encode these values so if the sample voltage exceeds that then you will just put one if the sample value not exceeding that you are going to put zero so like that one zero one zero one zero train will come so that is called as digital signal so whatever we are having here in signals and systems is only continuous and discrete time signals so this is the uh, description about continuous and discrete time signals.